Hello my lovely butterfly, it's France. Welcome back for a new video. I've missed you all and I know that many of you have missed my guided art channeling videos as well. So here is a new one for you. This is my week to a layer a day, which is about white noise within the theme silence. <laughs> Now that my layer a day is laying flat, I can finally put down my first layer. I want to start with a very, very soft background color. So I'm applying lots of water and then a bit of Lindy's Gang. And I'm being careful not to shake or stir the bottle too much as I don't want any of the bling. I just want a bit of that watercolor to dilute it into the water on my journal. So the Alera Day, if you don't have any idea what it is I'm talking about, I have the link in the description box for you ready to check it out. The prompts are coming up each Saturday. There is a new theme every month and within that theme we have a new theme every week. And then we talk about it on the forum. So you can check out all the links in the description. And the point of the a layer a day is to put down a layer a day in our journal so that by the end of the week, we have a full spread done and we don't waste any time drying color or thinking about what to do next as we each time have 24 hours before we come back to our channel and think about what it is we want to do next. Now, I was on a roll. I knew what I wanted to do, so I did it in one go for this video. Uh, but nonetheless, I did not waste any time drying anything. I just left it to dry on its own accord while doing, doing something else. I will link all the products um, again in the description box so that you can see what it is I used. And for this first layer, as you can see, it was really, really, really soft and toned down. I used a scrap piece of paper as my second layer, or at least the start of my second layer. As it is a layer day and we are supposed to be done in one week, it's seven layers tops. Maybe a little bit more if you want to add in a cheat day, which is absolutely fine within this challenge. Uh, but yes, this was the start of my second layer. So just sticking it down with a bit of tacky glue and then taking off or ripping off the excess paper. I just love having a circle on my spread. So yes, I'm adding a circle again, this time in the version of a mask. So I'm using the mask part of my large circle stencil and the opening in the mask makes it very easy to just stick it down with a piece of washi tape so that it will stay in place because I want to add a second stencil in the game and then some modeling paste to apply some texture on the paper. So just scraping it on with my palette knife and then again, leaving it to dry by itself. I know that for the next step, I will have to put down my mask again. So I'm just tracing with a pencil and yes, it has a giraffe on the top of it <laughs> so that I can just place my uh, mask down easily in the same place when I come back to it. And once the modeling paste is dry, I can place the mask back into the marks that I made. Again, using that same piece of washi tape to keep in place. And then I'm going in with Neo Colors 2, which are water soluble crayons. So the idea that I have thinking about white noise and that I want to create here in my art channel is a tunnel vision. And while I'm working on it, I don't know why that tunnel, vi tunnel vision <laughs> is coming to me, but it did become clear towards the end of the spread. So for now, just scraping on some color and then watering it down again to blend it into the background.
The longer I was thinking about that tunnel vision that I wanted to create, the more I wanted it to be marked and dark um, around the edge of the circle. So I kept going in with darker colors, slowly building it up so that I didn't create like one black big circle um, at once, but really building it up from dark going to the lighter color. Opening that last bottle of Lindy's Gang, I had some dried up um, ink that fell on the paper, which can leave nasty spots where you don't want to have them. So I carefully blew it away. And again, more dark, even darker. And again, some more darkness around the edge of that circle to really emphasize that tunnel vision idea. So this second layer is what took me the most time because I really took the time to darken it up in the way that I wanted to. This is not a race. The end destination isn't the point. The point is about what I'm doing here in my journal. So I'm taking the time to do it. This is always the most exciting part is when you get to lift the mask and see how it looks. And I'm absolutely fine that the circle isn't a perfect circle. It's about tunnel vision and tunnel vision isn't always very clear. And then scraping with the tube, I had splatters appearing, which I absolutely loved as they are nicely rusty colored. So I just left them where they ended up. I let my very extended layer three to dry by itself before coming in with a number stamp and some matching ink as I wanted everything to look like it belonged together.
could have been carried away here and add more stamping in the circle, around the circle, what's not, but I wanted to keep that tunnel vision idea. So I refrained myself, walked away and then came back for layer five. And for that, I used an old a layer a day sticker because every year there's a bunch of leftover stickers uh, because there's so many on each uh, paper, on each sticker sheet for each layer a day. A month. So I took out this one and then toned down the edges to make it look like, again, like it was really dark and belonged within that circle. And part of that fifth layer, I also wanted to have some cambric, which I fished out of my cambric box. So this one already had color on it, but it worked with the rest of the spread, so fine with me. I would have done the stitching directly in my journal, but as I already had done my week three of the layer a day, I did not want to alter that spread. So I did the stitching on a scrap piece of paper and then pulling the threads to the front so that I can attach them together so that everything would stay more or less in place. because I really wanted to keep that dark effect um, coming from the circle, I added some water-soluble charcoal pencil and then just blended it in to darken it up to match the rest. And once that was done, I could just stick it in place.
Before sticking it, I decided to emphasize that blue just a little bit. So I flicked the tube of the same Lindy's that I used for the first layer and just let the ink sit for a minute while I was gluing down that piece of cambric that I had just stitched. This right here was my favorite moment of making this spread. It was lifting up the excess ink and then revealing that very soft blue of the marks that it left on the paper. I love when you can create these kind of effects with a minimum effort. And then taking this year's a layer a day word sticker sheets, I took out the matching words of the challenge, which is white noise. And while I was getting to stick it down, this is when I understood why I wanted to do this type of tunnel vision on my spread. Our channeling is my white noise when it comes to isolating myself mentally so that I can focus on my own here and now emotionally. So I really love how the two things are coming together, the theme of the spread and the look of the spread. So it was actually a beautiful reminder of my journal that my art journal is my best white noise on a day-to-day -day basis. So when I came to that realization, I decided to add that in words around the circle. And that right there was the final layer. So a very simple, a layer a day kind of spread. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you would like to see more, subscribe to my channel. And if you want even more and spend time together, join me on my website. There is even an art channeling app for you to download. And you can find all the links to all of that, as well as the description of all the products I used in the description box. See you back here next time. In the meantime, don't forget to put down a layer a day in a mindful way. Butterfly kisses.